going on guys? Got a work order for no power in the master bedroom. And it's gonna be an arc fault breaker. And I was hoping it just reset the breaker. But as you can see, it won't reset. So we're gonna be changing out an arc fault breaker. And you can feel the switch it doesn't feel right there inside either. You don't hear the clicking that you do on a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the four screws that are on the panel, top two, and the bottom two. So I'm going to get the cover off and we'll go ahead and swap it out. Okay, we got our panel off, and here's our breaker right here. So we'll follow that down. It's this neutral right here, which is the last one. Okay, it's our breaker right here. So we'll go ahead and remove it. I'm just going to start by just tilting it out, then we'll pull it out of place. There we go, it's off the bar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the neutral bar, which is back here. Okay, now we'll get our flathead and we'll remove the black and the white wire. Okay, here's our bad one. And this is the Eaton CH series, the CHF CAF 115, which is a 15 amp. Okay, here's our new one, same thing. So you always want to leave the breaker flipped off and we'll go ahead and get ready to put our wires in. Start with the neutral. Make sure you hold them in good. You want to make sure you have a good connection. Get our black wire. Pull that screw out some. Go ahead and tighten it up. Our wire snug. I'll go ahead and put our white wire on the ground bar, neutral bar. Okay. 
right, now we'll go ahead and mount the breaker. Okay, let's try it out. Test button works. There we go. See if we got power. Yep. Good to go. Alright, now we'll just go ahead and we'll throw the cover back on. Alright, we got the cover on. Good to go. All the breakers are on. And that's replacing a 15 amp arc fault breaker. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.